with the spikes. Wonder who this intelligencer is. Ha! <laughs> 
Tell me more about what things are like in the future. What do I invent? What do all my friends get up to? You know I can't really get into that, Echo. I can be careful not to mess everything up and tell you too much. Come on. Just a hint? Does Lim get to help more animals? Do, do I still have that ugly sweater Red made for me? Yeah. I still have that sweater. Okay. And Lim does help more animals. But he'll help a lot of kids, too. So will Rungs. Ellie and Axe go on to have a lot of adventures. Okay, that's it. No more out of me. <sighs> All right.
All these pills.
Garden design choice. Maybe Brett's up here. was that? Things can never just be calm and normal, can they? Oh, there she is. Hey, Red's not wrapped up in this Syntixie business too, is she? boyfriend oh um okay don't worry the guards won't bother us here <laughs> that's Chad who's this this is my um friend echo hey Hey, couldn't find a mirror? Oh, <laughs> that's just his look. What brings you guys up here? We came up to check out the view of the city. You know, after the spire burned. The shattered glass is really pretty. It sparkles when the light hits it. That's... romantic, I guess? Uh, no. We wanted to see the buildings that got smashed up. You can see all the fires better from up here, too. Sure. Have I seen you around before, Echo? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Real mysterious guy you brought me, Red. Echo is an inventor. He makes all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, yeah? Anything that might be interesting to me and the Inks? Probably not. You know, like little gadgets and toys made from scraps. Uh, we helped make a new pair of wings for a bird once. Right. Cool. Well, we really don't do stuff like that. We like to make a bigger statement. 
we're actually about something? Great. Well, I've actually got to run. Nice seeing you, Red. I'll catch you later. Actually, Red's gonna be hanging out with us later. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye, Echo. I'll see you, um, sometime. Wow. What a dick. to go but up and out of here. Ah, back in the city air. What the? Based on your reaction, you don't seem to know who I am. Oh, no. I definitely know a Pilty when I see one. Ah, uh, what charming deductive reasoning. I am the principal intelligencer of Clan Feros of Piltover. Can we skip this? What do you want with me? Certainly. Time waits for no one. Except you, Echo. Clever child with a temporal manipulation device. Am I a man of mystery up in Piltover? On the contrary. You're a noisy little boy. Clan Pharos is the largest proprietor of Hextech crystals and technology in all of Runeterra. We track everything that goes in and out of our laboratories, including the lost crystal splinter in your... Mm, what do you call it? Zero drive? Why haven't you come after me sooner then? Until this moment, you've been nothing but a mild distraction. However... You're now interfering with my agent's investigation of the Poindestra family. I have but one option to straighten this unfortunate mess out. Go home? Terminate your timeline. I see. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. A clever child with a temporal manipulation device might not be an enemy you want to make. I don't believe my hex-honed blades are an enemy you wish to make. <laughs> Lacking in discipline and...
cannot escape me. You're dragging this out. the city air. Precision is paramount. Ha! Our 
Hourglass. <laughs> Was Sundial Brat already taken? in the city air. Lacking in discipline and
Lacking in discipline and talent. <laughs> Hourglass. Huh. Was Sundial Brat already taken? <laughs> the city air what the lacking in discipline and
I see you've met Camille. Camille! <laughs> yeah, I've met Camille! Two echoes. <laughs> what? No, he, he's not. It is plain to see you've managed to invent a method to go even further back in time and have met up with your younger self. She's good. What are you looking for in your past? Investigating Syntixi crystals. Why are you telling her our plan? The Poindestrus created Syntixi by supercharging our Hextech crystals. Clan Pharos does not support this kind of dangerous experimentation. And I intend to put a stop to it. That spire collapse was just one example of how dangerous Syntixi can be. And I fear the Poindestrus have further examples in store. Actually, they've been gathering up Syntixi around the city since the spire collapse. Karina Veraza gave the stash she was hiding here to Drake and Vale. Hmm. Perhaps we should work together. Affirmative. What? Well, we all want the same thing. Don't we? The Poindestres will be shipping that cache of Syntixi. If you can prevent this cargo from reaching its destination, I can seek out the remaining siblings. Consider it done. You will find Syntixi being loaded into the Poindestres' secret chain crawler. Head it off before it arrives. Good luck, Echoes. You've got to be kidding me! She's a Pilty! Yeah, who just gave us a good tip about the crystals. Alliances aren't bad, Echo. Neither are they permanent. Right now we have a job to do. I'll call you once I've located the chain crawler. Sarkon asked if I was working with Clan Pharos. And now I guess I am. I don't like where this is going. Guess I could catch up on a few things while Draco looks for the chain crawler. Maybe my friends can tell me more about Camille too. I just don't trust her. Hey, what could you tell me about Camille of Clan Pharaohs? Ah, the Steel Shadow. Well, she's quite a legend in Piltover. Camille does not appear much in public, but her work is seen and feared by many. What exactly is her work? Collecting intel on any activities that may interfere with Clan Pharaohs. And she's good at it. <laughs> More machine than woman now. It's on, she's more of a monster. Like in the nursery rhyme. Right? Hmm. I wasn't aware there was one. Keep your fingers out of pockets, keep your fingers off the green. Else a lady with stilettos will come and slice them clean. <laughs> Be careful with that, Camille, huh? She's more machine now than woman. Never get to see you this much. How's your day going? It's going. Okay. Well, you tell me if you spot any cool fashion around the city, all right? I've got to stay caught up on the latest looks. How do you feel about plated legwear? Something really sharp. Hmm. That's neat. I don't mind a little metalwork. Yeah, it's big up in Piltover, apparently. Anyway, I'll I'll see you later. Later. Sure, I've got something you'll like. Can't find dads this good anywhere else. Zon is a runway. Style matters. Looking sharp. 
start, Becco. Oh, hey, Echo. Gotta have style. Let me see. Hmm. Hey there, Echo. here. good at getting animals to trust you. I trust them too. They're very honest. Animals don't lie or hide their feelings. I I don't have to guess if I'm right or wrong with them. Hmm. I never thought about it that way before. Hi Echo. Rungs, have you ever fought anyone who was very... How do I put this? Legs forward? Sure. It's a good strategy. It's tough to get close and land a hit on someone who knows how to kick. It's why you use your toys and gadgets, isn't it? To gain an advantage? My inventions are not toys. We'll get you there, Echo. After I'm done with you, you won't have to worry about anyone's legs ever again. <laughs> Thanks, Rungs. Hey. Okay. As good as I can be while Clan Pharos is still meddling in Zon. Clan Pharos? They do incredible things in metallurgy and hex tech. If their guards are still in Zon this long after the tower collapsed, they must not have found what they're looking for. Let's hope they find it soon. Then we can get our city back. Clan Pharos, the most entitled people in all of Zon and Piltover. Built over and on. There's some stories there.
on the chain crawler, and it's on the move. Head west. There's an opening to the tunnel you can drop right into. All right, all right. I'm on my way. Off to catch the Syntixie Express.